at these words, Coach Isis was the first guy that I thought of as far as what truly represents Moorhead football. And like I said, he, he's been a part of Moorhead football for a huge part of his life. And we have a saying, Coach, once a spud, always a spud. I'm going to turn right. it over to you. That's right. Thanks. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for inviting me. Uh, it is an honor to be here with you guys. Definitely. I remember a lot of you guys from when I coached for one year in seventh grade. I had some of you. Um, and from the middle school. Uh, it was a lot of fun then. And that's just part of the tradition of more football. I have not been in this locker room for about five years, and I have just goosebumps looking at this place. This place is awesome. That field is part of our tradition. Game day is part of our tradition. It is an event to come and watch or play football in Moorhead. And you are all part of it. And I'm lucky that I was part of it for a long time. You see that banner, those banner up there in, on the field, 1971. That's a long time ago. 1987 when I played, that's, even, that's a long time. You guys weren't even... But it's fun for me because I get to relive certain things that happened out on the field when I see you guys. When I think of tradition, I think of not only winning, but coming to play every single day. You look at your schedule before the season starts, and you look at those teams, and you know who are going to be the toughest teams. That's part of tradition. People look at the schedule, and they know they're going to play the spuds. They know it's going to be a tough, hard-fought game. That's part of that tradition. And like Coach said, once you're a spud, you're always a spud. And it doesn't matter if all of us old spuds are going to every game. We're following on Twitter. We're listening to Larry Coonson on the radio. We're all following. We all know what's going on, and it's fun. You guys got something special going on again this year. It's fun. I look forward to this Friday. Second thing I want to talk about was dedication. Dedication comes in all kinds of different facets. There is the off-season stuff, which, man, you guys put in the time. Then there's the season starts. Well, that first one-third of the season, the first four games is already done. Now we got that second half, and then we got the final push, the playoffs. The dedication just continues as the season goes on. Now, at this time of year, it is, hey, make sure you're eligible. Make sure you're part of this team. Make sure that you are ready to step in if you have that chance. Dedication is important for all of us because all of you are important. What makes a good team is not just the two or three superstars you hear about in the paper. It's everybody. That's how we get better, is when everybody does their job. And I have a great example of that. A few years ago when I was coaching, we were playing in the semifinals, and we're down in the dome. We're playing to go to the state championship game, and it's 27-20, and there's five minutes left in the game, and we get the ball, we gotta go 80 yards. We have our top four linemen that hurt. We're playing with our fifth string and sixth string offensive tackles. And we go 14 play drive, go all the way down and score a touchdown with guys who would normally never even think of getting in. But they were ready. It was awesome. Now we went for two and didn't make it, but it was still, it was, it was a great, great example of being ready and rising to the occasion. Um, the last thing I want to start, another thing about dedication is you guys are lucky to have probably the best coaching staff in the state of Minnesota as far as getting ready. They come up with an awesome plan to follow. And being part of that tradition and that dedication, it's, it's, uh, it gives me chills actually. Anybody have any questions for Coach Yeah. What did it feel like to win a state championship as a player? You know, it was it was awesome, but it felt weird because normally every other year I've ever been in part of the high school, your last game was a loss. Last game wasn't a loss. So you expected to go the next week and practice and get ready and keep going. So it was a really weird feeling to just go out on top.
favorite moment, well, there's a lot. As a player, my favorite moment was, it's, it's our first drive of the game, and we had just committed two stupid penalties, and it's like third and 19, and we're on about the 40-yard line, and we run and out and up. And so I drop back, or actually it was shotgun, drop back, run out and up, throw it down, our guy catches it at about the one yard line and walks into the touchdown. That is my favorite play as a that as celebration. Was fantastic. That was awesome, yeah. And he, you know, he was a little bit of a showboat, had a lot of fun, and yeah, we didn't get penalized, but he probably could. Like that. <laughs> Our coaches were awesome, and they came up with a great game plan every every week. And they constantly kept tell, telling us that, hey, you know what? Forget the hype. Forget where we're at. Each week, we want to go 1-0. We worry about our team that we're going to be playing against, and that's all you worry about. And so each week, there's a refocus. Boom, you win that game, you refocus, you get ready, you just keep going. And what happens is you start to get the confidence that, in you and your teammates that, you know, I don't care who they put out against, out there against us. We can do the job. And that's fun. Yeah. Did you ever think you were gonna win a state championship that year? We I when I was a junior, we had eight starters on offense that were juniors. And we had six or seven starters on defense that were juniors. And so we knew we had the chance to be really good. And so you kind of always have that little dream there, but...